from Krimi Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Crane company Saren Siba opened its new Brits-based Crane Depot in mid-November to cater specifically for the regional mining industry. Demand and logistics were the main driving factors for the company to branch out from its depot in Brackpan to service mines in the northern part of South Africa. Donna Slater tells us more. Demand and timely service to mining clients were the main drivers behind Saren Siba opening its new mining-specific depot in Brits. Being located closer to mining regions means the company has easier and quicker access to one of its core markets. The reason we moved into this area is we identified that there was, uh, there was definitely an opportunity for Saren Siba to, to branch out. So if I can just backtrack a little bit, uh, we used the whole of the COVID-19 um, pandemic in South Africa to really take some time out uh, and take a, a deep dive into our own business to see what our strengths were, what our weaknesses were and where we could improve. Uh, and as part of that exercise, we discovered that uh, working as a central location from, uh, from Brackpan wasn't necessarily the best way to achieve the best utilization for our fleet. But also, it wasn't necessarily the best way to service our clients. Um, so together with the team I have here in South Africa, we used the whole of the first, let's say, the first two phases of the lockdown to do a complete exercise on how we were going to change the company moving forward. Uh, we then designed and put together a presentation, which I presented to the board, uh, the Sound's main board in Belgium. Uh, we had achieved, uh, well, we got approval straight away to do that. Uh, and from the 1st of July, we then instigated the new, the new breakup, let's say, of, of sarans within the Southern Africa, sarans Siba within the Southern Africa um, continent as such. As part of the, the drive to move forward, we identified that the mining sector was definitely an area that we hadn't put enough uh, time and effort and resources into. Um, we had brought on a new gentleman on board, a new sales guy, uh, and he started to bring in leads and everything else. And at that time, we decided that, okay, we have to have a mining a mining depot, an allocated mining depot. The team then sat uh, and we did some homework on where the best place would be, uh, and Brits was quite high on the on the list. So at which point, uh, Henny took over and, uh, and identified this, this place as a, a way to go forward. Locality was also a deciding factor in Saren Siba choosing Brits as a base of operations outside of Johannesburg and Pretoria. Why we actually chose the Brits depot as well as Andy pointed out in the earlier uh, response, is we identified a gap within our organization and we have done tremendous amount of good work on other segments such as power or, or power stations, petrochemical plants in civil um, but what was ac actually lacking over the past years was the mining. We never ever um, took our services that, and solutions that we provide to these clients. So. Um, the, demo we, the demand basically in this area is to supply mobile cranes and rough terrain cranes and other plant material um, up to a certain tonnage uh, capacity. That is the maintenance part of it and then we also have the project side of it. So within our Saren Siba we also have another depot which is the Heavies depot and that uh, is interlinked with our um, local depots such as the Brits depot where we then bring in our bigger machinery. So our heavy depot is then up to, from 160 up to our 800 ton crawler, what we have. By doing this, we would like to, or we aim to cover um, a piece of the pie in the Rustenberg depot. So the type of machines that we foresee to have in the mining depot here in Brits would be 120 ton all-terrain, uh, 100 ton all-terrain crane, uh, 80 ton and maybe uh, 40 ton all-terrain crane. And if the demand is there for a rough terrain, we'll also have a rough terrain crane in the area. With the cranes that I've stated now, we can service all the mines in the Brits area, um, with our focus being on Sabania and Windsor, to provide them with cranes that can be mobile between all the plants that they have in the area. Further to the above cranes that I mentioned that we'll be having in the area dedicated to the mining sector in the, in the Brits area, we also have a complete fleet available to, to the mines in the area and that would be from SPMTs, uh, jacking, skidding, strand jacking, we've got rigging equipment and we also envisage to have transport in the area to have the mines, to service the mines with the transport equipment. 
Um, and also in our heavy fleet, the cranes that would be available to the mining depot and to the mining um, fraternity in this area would be the crawler cranes as well. As part of the, 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 the change across to the depot formation, um, we allocated four separate individual depots. So as it stands today, we have the, the, the Sasselberg depot, we have the Secunda depot, and then we have the mining depot, which is where the Brits, the whole Brits depot fits into, um, because it's predominantly for the mining sector. And then as Tim pointed out earlier, we've got the heavies cranes. So it becomes a fundamental part and a, and a, a huge part, let's say, of the, the mining commitment to mining in this area from Saren Seaver's point of view. As far as expansion is concerned, again, it, as we've opened up today, as we opened the Brits Depot today, uh, we will use the next, uh, the next quarter, so the, the first quarter of 2021, to see what the demand is for the equipment. Um, we are a service provider, so as and when our clients come to us, um, the, yeah, the supply is if, if, if whatever they require. If they require more equipment, then we will, in, we will increase, let's say, the commitment to the Brits Depot. So we can backfill slightly from different depots to ensure that we have the correct commitment to this area via the Brits Depot. And then I will ensure via our head office that more equipment is brought in to backfill where, wherever I move equipment from. And that's how we will move forward. And if everything goes according to plan in Q1, Q2, as we continue, we will continue to grow in this area. The Saron's ethos is, yes, we are a service provider. And if you look at what you see today in, in, in the Brits Depot, you will see Saron's here predominantly to, at this moment in time to offer crane rental service for mobile cranes. However, we also have a solutions package as well. So if a client comes to us today and if a client walks in his office today and asks to, to have a conversation with us regarding an issue or a problem that they have, we then kick in with a complete solutions team where we will look at it from an engineering perspective, from a cost perspective, and we will find the best solution for that client, at which point we will go forward. But then it, it changes away from the rental service more to a contractual service, a project service. Uh, and we are geared up, ready to do, or able to do, offer both services. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.